So, it is 60 days until my 30th birthday. And I know I had said I was going to make a video every day for the 29th year. And you guys know how good I am at keeping those promises. Sorry. But for the next 60 days, I'm going to do a really good job. Really good job of keeping tabs on the preceding event. So, um, or forthcoming event, I should say. So yeah, so I'm going to be 30 in 60 days, and I'm a little apprehensive about it. I used to be one of those people who's really excited about birthdays, but I understand now why some people feel a little bit of trepidation when that time of year, or that time of life, I should say, comes. Three decades is a long time to have lived on Earth, and you look back and you think, what have I done so far, and what do I want to do in the future? And you guys know I don't do the whole resolution thing every year, but there are definitely goals that I wanted to accomplish by 30 and for this year. And I, you know, I'm sad to say that I haven't done all of them. Um, but I've definitely tried to um, become better. And at the end of the day, if I can say that I did that, then that's good. Um, there's definitely things that I want to be much better at, obviously, but... Um, we're still working on it, career-wise, relationship-wise, health-wise. We're getting better. Um, definitely was a rough month. August was definitely a rough, rough month, and September started out uh, the same way. But we definitely tried to to do it a little better and um, to get the help that we needed to get to where we wanted to go. And I know that you love when I talk in the royal we. <laughs> It's just habit, I guess. Anyways, so we're going to do the countdown, and um, we'll see what happens in the next six days, two months. Um, but uh, we're looking forward to what the future holds, and hopefully um, it'll be positive. We'll stay positive to make it so. You know, you got to speak what you want into your existence. Um, the sermon today at church was really on time. God has a way of working that way, though. I feel like when I need to be recharged, the right message is always there. And that's why my faith is always strong, regardless of what goes on, regardless of how I'm feeling, what I'm dealing with. At the end of the day, he's always there when I need him. So for those who don't understand um, those of us who hold our faith really strong, it's because of moments like that when it's just... There's no other explanation, and I know scientifically that's not uh, how some of you think, but for me, it works, and it's very helpful. Um, this weekend was awesome. I got to spend it with my sister, just me and her, and uh, she's always a recharge for me. She's like being plugged back in and uh, and getting recharged. She's just a, a wonderful spirit, and I love spending time with her, and I wish I could do more of that. Um... And it's, it's my own self that gets in the way. She's definitely a light um, and a recharger. She's like a lighter. She can just light your candle right back up. So um, I, I appreciate that. Saw Smurfs 2 and Smurfs 1. So we went to the movies and we saw Smurfs 2 and it was really good. Um, so I went back and I watched uh, the first Smurfs movie, which was also a very good movie. I don't know why um, I didn't hear much about it. I uh, remember watching the Smurfs when I was younger. Um, it wasn't, like, my favorite. Kind of like Fraggle Rock. I enjoyed it, but it wasn't, like, 